Well, this will probably be just a summing up video on this subject. I, um, I think we've probably, I guess, reached a whatever, you know, an end, um, or an end enough for now. Because we're just getting sort of redundant. Um, you know, yeah, agreeing is nice, but agreeing for the wrong reasons kind of sucks. Um, I still believe there is um, certainly a possibility and um, I think a probability that um, there is a universal truth out there concerning um, morality, if that's the word you want to use, concerning the ethics, the dynamics, the value, the worth, the accomplishment, the meaning, the point, the purpose of humanity and life on earth. There's a um, judgment that's uh, been made. It's out there. And it's just our, it's just up to us to find it, to discern it, to extract it from this thing we call reality, uh, the circumstantial facts. Um, I guess what I'm saying is there is an objective perspective it, that it that it can exist. It does exist. And. Uh, the objective perspective wouldn't be engaged in any kind of debate or anything else because yes it would have it would have known values for the variables it would have an understanding of the quantified meaning of elements of our existence and uh, so getting back to the original point here um, which was basically about yeah, the whole purpose of life. And so I'll just throw out the, you know, this will be redundant, but I'll just throw out the contextual foundation here. Um, I perceive us as just, we're evolved parasites. We evolved from a parasite into a very sophisticated and complex parasite, but that's what we are. We are a parasite. We have needs um, that are imposed upon us by the circumstance of being alive. That's how living things evolve. They are designed to need, to consume. And uh, uh, the natural context is you consume anything, anywhere. I mean, brother, sister, mother, doesn't matter. If it's to your advantage, you do it. I mean, there's some organisms that eat half their young, you know, because there's an advantage to it. Um, it just, there's just no rules. Um, and, uh, the, you know that's the context of our creation, and uh, we are designed. We're, we're designed to need from the very moment we um, first breath we take. We are in need, and we are consuming animals. And uh, now we have this thing, this intelligence, this third level of natural design, so to speak. I mean, I see it sort of as a tier. I mean, the first tier is just m m the material universe, and then it was a whole new ball game once you got to living reproducing organisms um, and natural selection that was a whole new ball game whole new world with new rules and then I see it as intelligence once intelligence becomes introspective capable of examining itself that kind of level of intelligence language uh, the capacity to store information outside of its container um, you know to, to maximize the potential of this thinking machine that's almost a third level of um, the evolution of matter or the evolution of energy, whatever you want to call it. It's, a, it's another dimension, another realm where new rules apply, um, the logical realm. And, uh, you know, I think in that realm, if we try to exist in there, if we try to go there to that dimension and divorce ourselves of the corruption of our origins and try to be as intellectually clean and honest as possible yeah the conclusions can be drawn and uh, examining life and, and humanity we can see it we can see ourselves as rats as cheese chasers in a maze and uh, the question is is there any purpose number one in this maze at all and uh, even if we can't decisively answer that question or we're afraid to, um, we can certainly say there's cause to 
change the configuration of the maze to make it more efficient, to make the cheese mouse game more efficient, to to satisfy more need. And that either is you reduce the number of rats or you change the character of the rats or you change the character of these walls and, and, and boundaries. And so you brought up market economies and this is to me, you know, the, the, you know, it's just so disappointing that you know humanity can only see things in these extremes. You know, it's communism or it's capitalism, and there's just nothing in between. And the whole point is is to have a an incentive economy, um, a, a competition. You know, as I've put it, that encourages people to do their best, but not necessarily to do their best against someone else's advantage. To you know, for one, it's, it's like states can compete with each other and they end up trying to steal from each other is all they're trying to do. Uh, you know, let's undercut the competition so we get more business. They're not improving both states, they're just um, changing the dynamic and, and trying to create a winner and a loser. And uh, that's a defeatist, that's an, an, uh, that doesn't accomplish anything. And you pointed out that, oh, the Chinese are doing so much better. Um, I don't know. Uh, you know, I don't know what is worse. I mean, I've lived homeless. I've lived different ways. And uh, to tell you the truth, um, being exploited is probably worse. I mean, these shiny new cities are just, you know, being run by people being consumed. They're just being consumed. They're working 16-hour days for no wages and just beating the hell out of their bodies. I've seen it. I've seen people do it. I've seen people kill themselves at work. I've seen it and and it's it's disgusting it's disgusting to see somebody live their whole life working 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 just to send money home to their family um, and then watch them you know take more and more barbiturates just to get through the day because the pain is so bad and uh, to watch that happen to a human being it's yeah I'd almost rather see them die of leprosy or something I mean I just it's it's not a life there's no life. There's the 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 the, the empire, the the you know um, the corporation owns them, and uh, they're just a like a piece of coal. They're just there to be used, to be burned up, and then disposed of. And I'd even say it in my own history, it happened. I mean, I you know I worked in the restaurant business when I was a kid. And I, I made a fucking mess out of my back, and I've paid for it ever since. And uh, it was a lousy exchange for my, you know, 60 cents an hour. Um, so whatever. I mean, I got, I got no. I have, I have no capacity to say anything good about words like market economy or any of this other bullshit. Because all it is is exploitation. If you want to say market economy in the context of no inheritance and no bankruptcy, no no free ride if you fuck up. You know, you get all the money if you win and you don't pay any price if you lose. You know, that's bullshit economy. That's not that's not a risk economy. Yeah, the the people who end up cleaning up the mess are the consumers, not the damn producers. So let the producers clean up the messes they make. You know, then that's fair. You know, but they don't. We never touch their wealth. And uh, like I said, half the economy now is being run by money that people didn't earn. Yeah, they inherited it. You know, they own half of of the capitalist empire are people who didn't do a damn thing to earn it. And so, if you want to talk about market economy in some other context, that's fine. You know, then maybe I'll listen. But in that context, uh, in that unfair fight, fuck it. It's bullshit. It's worse than communism. It's worse than it's worse than the worst. There's nothing worse than an unfair fight. So if we can't design that, if we can't design a rat maze that at least, <clears throat> if we're going to force rats to compete with each other, then we should at least force a fair fight. And so getting back to my original point of all these videos was basically the right to die, the right to say fuck you to this system. I'd like to be a rat now, you know, I'll climb up the wall and say this is all fucking bullshit. And if this is the best we can do, well fuck you, you play the game, I'm not going to play. So in my opinion, as long as the rats have a right to advocate, as long as they have a right to say fuck you, I'm not playing, um, then go ahead, create any shitty game you want. But as long as anybody has a right to get up from the table and say fuck you, I'm okay with that. And uh, 
So let's just make it legal for people to gracefully die so they don't have to blow their brains out or jump in front of a train or some other bullshit. And uh, then the poor can make a free choice to live as slaves. And uh, if they don't want to, they can say, well, fuck you, I, I'm, I'm not playing the game. I'll come back as a, you know, a plant or a tree, <laughs> you know, but I'm not going to live as a human being under these circumstances <clears throat> in this context. So that's what it comes down to me. I just want right to say, fuck you to this whole human system. And I can't do that as long as people are trapped here, as long as people are trapped in this, this cycle of, of bullshit. Um, yeah, I've got to give a damn. And I don't want to give a damn, but I have to. No real choice.